the demonstration with co-scientists operating on our liquid handler robot is a simple chemical reaction uh, or two, uh, Suzuki and Sonogashira cross couplings that we also showcased in uh, the publication as the very first chemical reactions during, they were entirely planned, designed and executed by a non-organic intelligence. So co-scientists was the, the driver uh, on this with having a simple prompt from us scientists, human scientists, as to perform those uh, two reactions and uh, co-scientists given what is available in the setup of the robot to perform those reactions. No other intervention uh, takes place. And what is amazing about this is that now you can really democratize access to automation. A cloud lab is a similar idea to how we have cloud computing. You have multiple different instruments that can perform experiments. You write and submit your experiment as code, so it's highly reproducible and shareable. So anyone from anywhere can write code that will then be executed as the, those experiments in Cloud Lab. It's performed by a mix of technicians and robots. There's a lot of thought that goes into designing experiments. And that is one of the most interesting things about the Cloud Lab initiative, where you write the experiment protocol as code. So code scientist is a co-pilot for Cloud Labs, enabling the writing uh, of that code and understanding what is next uh, in the experimental design to be much more, uh, much closer to the scientists in natural language. Because scientists has access to web with a web searcher and documentations with a documentation searcher, also large language models that give it uh, the capabilities to also execute code in a secure environment or perform experiments. Co-scientist writes the code for the environment that it can perform those experiments, be it the robots in our lab or in an environment such as cloud labs. CMU Cloud Lab has a vast amount of different hardware types. Co-scientist can interface with that directly and therefore use uh, any of those instruments for uh, any problems that we, we would uh, try to tackle. So, so far, we don't know uh, what are the limits for co-scientists. And that's uh, something exciting we're gonna be exploring going forward. With the development of any new technology, um, we always try to be cognizant of the possibility for unexpected or malintended uses. We are working closely with many of the big players in large language models and foundation models to make sure that they are safe, but we are also uh, developing architectures for, develop for guardrails that will allow for us to have a safe environment, specifically on large language models, for physical sciences.